Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about an issue that I'm having with the right analog stick on my PS Vita. It's pretty common for a Vita that's been used a lot to develop a drift in the analog sticks. What that normally looks like is in a game, it appears as though you're leaning on a stick a little bit. You may be looking slowly to one direction or walking slowly in a direction. But that's not the issue that I'm seeing. What I'm seeing is that the down left position is seemingly always being held down, even when you're not touching the analog stick. Whether you hit up or right or anything to try to counter it, it still will always register down left. So I decided to demonstrate this issue with riddled corpses. In this game, you use the right analog stick to aim and shoot. What's happening is, no matter what I touch, on the right analog stick, whatever direction I push it in, it will always shoot down and to the left. All right, as I start the game up here, just notice that I'm not gonna touch the right analog at all. And there I am, firing away. And all the other buttons seem to be working, so I don't think that there's anything with the connection to the motherboard that's screwing with all of the buttons on this side. I can pause the game. Uh, it's really just that analog stick. Yeah, the D-pad works. All right, so I'm gonna power it down now and we'll open it up and take a look. There's gotta be something going on inside that'll stand out. All right, so we'll start by removing the four screws in the back. I've already taken them out because they're a little bit of a pain sometimes. These were kind of stripped out. So you take those four out, and then there's also two on the bottom near the charge port that you'll want to remove as well. So before you try to pry the thing open, take a look in the memory card slot. You should see a memory card in there and it kind of hangs over the edge of the plastic. So you want to make sure you take that out. Otherwise, when you try to pry it open, you'll definitely break something inside. You can kind of see that plastic overhang there. So now you should be able to pry it open. Do this gently so we don't rip any of the wires that are connecting the battery and the touch panel to the motherboard. And take it at the top and pry it as well. I like to keep the screen face down so that I don't lose any pieces that are holding in the shoulder buttons. Just kind of work my way around. There's no need to use a tool for this part. You can use your hands. And once we get that open, you'll see there's a wire for the touchpad and for the battery. You lift up from the bottom and kind of push with your finger. And that'll pop the back right off. When you have it flipped over, you just want to make sure that you're looking at the right side. So, yep, this is the right analog stick. And I'll want to take a look at the ribbons that are connecting. There's one that connects the whole panel. There's one that connects the analog stick. And then there's one at the top that'll connect the shoulder button. Kind of pop those off very gently. They have these little plastic latches. That'll help the ribbon stay in place, and then you can slide it out without putting any real pressure on it once the plastic is lifted up. And it just pops out like that. Yep, so now I can slide that right out. And when I look on the bottom here, uh, it's pretty messed up. And honestly, the reason that it looks like so bad is that when I first took it out, it was covered with this black garbage and as I was trying to clean that off I started taking parts of the ribbon off and regardless that ribbon was the main suspect anyway. But first let's take a look at the other parts that we might want to troubleshoot. We're gonna to try to get down to the analog stick itself, take that out, take a look. Take the screws off of this brace And we also want to make sure that these ribbons are disconnected. So 
So I'm using plastic so I don't end up scratching something on the board or cutting something somewhere. It's a lot easier than using your fingernails too. Lifting up this board here, I'll be able to reveal the screws that hold the analog stick in. So first I'm gonna kind of pop this off and slide the ribbon out here. And this is what the board looks like for the right controls. I'm looking at all the pins too and I don't see any issues here. I thought maybe there'd be a bent pin or some corrosion on on the pins and there it just isn't. Everything looks good. Two screws that hold in the analog stick need to come out. And once I have these two screws removed, I'll be able to lift the housing for the analog stick right out. All right, I'll move those aside so I don't lose them. So really, the stick looks pretty good. It's a little dirty right here, but that's no way that's causing any issues. When I put my finger on the bottom and I move the thumbstick around, I can feel all the mechanical parts moving properly. But I can take this plate off also and really see if the parts are moving properly. So I take a screwdriver and just pry these pieces a little bit. And this will loosen the plate from the bottom. And then I should be able to just slide it right off. And you don't want to bend them too much because they need to go back on. All right, so let's get this one and then push the whole bottom. And now when I take this off, I'm going to hold it upright so these little springs that are in here don't fall out. They're kind of secured, but they can fall. If I wiggle the stick around, I can see all the mechanical parts seem to be moving properly. Just to be sure, I took some rubbing alcohol, put it in there, worked it in, made sure it was good and dry before putting it back together, and I was still having issues. So that brings us back to what I suspected the issue was in the first place. The ribbon looked like hell, right? So taking a look at this new ribbon, the contacts are good, everything's intact. We're gonna try putting this one in now and see how that works. So first I'm gonna reconnect the other ribbons. And it can be a little bit of a process, but you don't wanna to get too worked up and rush it. They can break pretty easily. This one is probably the hardest one to get in. So you can kind of put your finger on it or a piece of plastic. Just kind of push it a little bit gently. And then we'll take the new ribbon, slide in the part on the motherboard first that slides right in, and then same process with the other side. It's a little bit of a dance to get it in right, but just be patient. Make sure you're holding the brace up and then once you have it in just right, you can clip that piece of plastic back down. And a ribbon will stick up a little bit like that. All right, so let's put it back together and test it out then. Now to put it back together, just take the two bottoms, line them up so it would close like a clamshell. The ribbons uh, have a connector on the end where you can just kind of push it down. And these are really easy to reconnect. I always do the touch panel first and then the battery. And once you have those reconnected, 
you can gently close the entire thing. And it really should just kind of pop back into place at this point. We're not going to put screws on yet because we want to make sure that what we did actually worked. So put your memory card back in. And let's fire it up. And a note I'll add is when you have it open, it's not a bad idea to clean out any gunk that you do see around the buttons. Uh, if you're having issues with the buttons mechanically pushing in and out, or if they don't seem to respond without pushing them hard or wiggling them, then you can always clean the contacts for those. I'm gonna load up Riddled Corpses again. And then just really cross our fingers here. Go through these menus. And it's not shooting, and it's shooting in any direction I want it to. So it appears as though the analog stick is working perfectly now. And all the other buttons seem to be working as well. I'm going to check that just because we replaced the ribbon that connects the motherboard to the entire right side. So I'll just make sure all those buttons do what they're supposed to do. Everything seems to be working great. Looks like we fixed the issue. Thanks for hanging out. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to hit subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time, take it easy.